Good morning and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. I'm Nancy Ostrich. And this is our 281st program. I can't believe that we've done that, all, done all these programs. Well, anyway, we're, hit, we're striding for 300. Today we're going to be making sweet potato soup, maple muffins, and gingerbread bars with put on cream cheese frosting. And we're going to start out with Nancy starting with her soup. Okay, thank you. Uh, as I've said different times before when we are taping these, and um, these are ones that are uh, right in the heart of winter. And uh, we've been having some cold weather finally. Um, and uh, we're going to get some more cold weather. So what do, we, what do we like to eat? Comfort food, of course, and soup is one of them. Um, my sweet potato soup is going to start out and believe me, cutting out the sweet potatoes to put into the soup was a major um, exercise. I had to get some help from stronger people. Um, so I'm starting out with my soup pot and I put in a couple of tablespoons of oil and I'm going to saute until lightly browned um, a medium onion, chopped, a red medium red pepper, chopped, and um, couple of uh, stalks of celery uh, chopped. So and about two minced onions, two garlic, uh, two uh, cloves of uh, minced garlic. And you know I continue to use the pre-minced, it's just what I do. You can do whatever you, you're comfortable with. So, I'm going to heat it up a little bit more and saute for about five minutes. So while that is happening, I will turn it over to Gordy to do her gingerbread brownies. Okay, today I'm going to make gingerbread um, bars with uh, cream cheese frosting. Uh, if you like gingerbread, this is maybe a thing that you could, like, would like to try. In my bowl, I have two thirds cup of butter. Uh, I have a quarter, a uh, one and three quarters cup of brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of molasses and I'm going to mix them together. You want your butter um, room temperature? is sunk down into the bottom of the my bowl here. Just a second I can get it out. Okay. You mix this until it's nice and creamy. Okay, when this is all mixed up, I'm going to add, whoops, I'm going to add two eggs. And one tablespoon of vanilla. this until it's creamy. Looks 
that looks good. So to my batter here, I'm going to add my flour. In my container, I have two cups of flour, two, cheese, uh, two tablespoons of ginger, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one quarter teaspoon baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add this to my batter. Me, flour, and confectionery sugar don't get along. <laughs> I usually have it all over my house. <laughs> okay, this looks this looks great. So now I'm going to add it to a nine by thirteen pan. I greased it with a little bit of Pam. I'm going to flatten this out into my pan. Don't you lo love it when you get the batter like that that's nice and sticky? It's <laughs> oh, I know it. It's terrible. <laughs> they say take a rubber spatula to um, to put uh, to um, spread it, but it doesn't spread very good. Have to see if I can do it with a knife. Make sure you get it nice and flat and to all the corners and nice and even on top. And when you are done spreading your batter, you put it in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Just make sure you keep an eye on it after 25 minutes to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Well, this looks like about all I can do. Just make another, another pass over. Each time I do this, I get a little bit more. Okay, this looks good enough. So I'm going to put this in the 350 degree oven. And let it bake. Excuse me. 
Alright, Nancy. Yep. I'm gonna put that down there. Okay. That's all for me right now until I make the frosting. We're gonna go back to Nancy with her soup. Okay. This this soup has some interesting ingredients in it. Uh, I've never made it before, so we'll see. Um, I've been cooking down the celery, the red pepper, and onion chopped in a little oil. And I added, after about five minutes, I added some seasoning. And the seasoning is one teaspoon of ground ginger, so I'm using ginger today too, and one teaspoon of allspice. Interesting. You let that cook for a minute or so. And now I'm going to add four cups of low sodium vegetable or chicken broth. Two large sweet potatoes. Now I get a kick out of uh, recipes that say large, small, medium, instead of cups or whatever. Because your um, idea of a large sweet potato may not be as large as I think a sweet potato is, Sweet. or an onion, or whatever. <laughs> So, um, but that's the way it, but it's, it's funny now, is this, is, does the recipe consider what I'm using, the large or the medium or whatever? So there's my four cups of um, chicken, low soda with chicken broth, and uh, two large sweet potatoes that I have peeled and cut into small pieces. Hopefully, that's... And one can, 14 ounce, that we know, of uh, diced tomatoes. going to bring this to a boil, cover it and simmer it until we check to see that the potatoes have uh, are tender. So we will uh, break um, while I clean up and set up for the other recipe I'm going to make. Okay, uh, my soup is boiling, simmering, let's say that, simmering to cook down the uh, sweet potatoes. And uh, that's not finished yet, but I'm going to uh, turn my attention now to the maple muffins. Um, my husband and I have used real maple syrup, I think, all our married life. So um, I came across this recipe of maple muffins and uh, wanted to try them. Uh, we are in an area in Berkshire County of plenty of uh, uh, sugar houses. And in fact, we have a um, video that uh, my husband did years ago out at Dick and Crane's farm on uh, Route 9 on how sugar is uh, cooked, the maple is cooked down to make the maple syrup. And we very often uh, show it when maple syrup season comes uh, around, which will be in a couple of months. So, it's not the cheapest, uh, but if you have a, f 
uh, a taste for real maple syrup, you 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 uh, buy it somewhere. Right. So I'm going to start out with the dry ingredients, and I've got two cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup either packed brown sugar, or I've got I. I'm using white sugar this time, a half a cup. Um, two teaspoons of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of salt. that well. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to whisk together. One stick, let's put this over here. One stick of melted butter or margarine. I'm still a little slow with uh, working my wrist. Uh, three quarters of a cup of milk. And a half a cup of maple syrup. teaspoon of vanilla extract. If I can get the cover off, which I should have. There we go. After I've shaken it. Okay. liquid to the dry. Do not overmix, it says. Okay. 
It's uh, supposed to make about 16. muffins and I will not bore you with 16 I will do a couple of them and uh, we, then we will break Okay, when I have uh, filled these all up, uh, I will add some streusel, which I will put together uh, and show you um, when that's done. So we're going to break for a few minutes. Okay, actually I came up with 15 um, muffins, so I almost got to the 16. Uh, but I haven't finished with them yet. The rest of them are right there. Um, I need to make a streusel and the ingredients for a streusel, to, this is to uh, put on the top of them to give them a little extra uh, zing, is um, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, Three tablespoons of brown sugar or white sugar, and uh, brought over some enough brown sugar to, for our, all our recipes, but not quite enough, so I had to resort to white sugar. And two tablespoons of chopped walnuts, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and two tablespoons of soft butter. We're using our spices today, and that's good, because spices are good for you. Cinnamon is a preserver, in my opinion. Because if I put cinnamon in applesauce, in the jar, of course, uh, which I always do, unless it's already cinnamoned uh, applesauce, it lasts longer than just natural uh, applesauce without, um, in the jar, say, uh, without the cinnamon. And there are other spices are used for keeping long, longer life, preserving. I also found that, um, particularly in the summertime, uh, people using skim milk, uh, you need a little fat in your milk to have it last longer in the carton. And there are other examples. Okay. So, take a little bit, get your hands into it, clean of course and sprinkle a little on each top of your muffins. And 
and I will do the rest of them off camera and then I will be back to finish off the soup. Well before I finish off our kind of interesting soup I just need to say that the muffins went into the oven at 350 and I am baking them for about 18 to 22 minutes. So back to the soup. Everything has been boiling and then I have added about five ounces, okay, about five ounces of uh, baby spinach. And also, um, at that point, um, a part of the recipe that I uh, left out, and I kind of replaced it with my uh, celery, my chopped celery, is a um, 16 ounce package of frozen edamame. This goes in with the um, spinach uh, and cooks uh, for about two, 10 minutes or so. Um, I do not care for edamame, so, and you may, may not, whatever, but it's nice with soup. You can um, add, subtract, whatever. And to finish it off, I took out about a cup of the um, broth and added a half a cup of peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, and I'm whisking it together here, and I'm going to add it to the soup. Now, I told you before, I had not made this before. It was in a cookbook of foods and information on healthful foods and um, recipes that were very good for you. So you got your protein there with your peanut butter. If you don't like peanut butter, well, this isn't your soup. And we mix it in. And we let it simmer for 10 minutes or so. If you added the edamame, you don't need to cook that. I'm now ready to make my frosting. In my bowl, I have an eight ounce um, package of cream cheese. I have a quarter of a cup of butter. And I have three cups of confectionery sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. So I don't know if anybody knows, but I have a real bad addiction to cream, well, for powdered sugar. So I have to start off real slow. If not, it'll be all over the studio. <laughs> Mix it all together till it's all mixed together. Okay, we'll see how what this looks like.
remember to leave a little bit for Michael. Yes, I will do that. Got to get it all out. Okay. This goes on a lot better than trying to flatten out batter. Yes. <laughs> there. Okay. Here are my gingerbread bars. And this is what they look like. I made a little end down there because we have... One person that works with us that can't eat all this good stuff. <laughs> so we have to we have to do something nice for him once in a while. So that's my ginger bar bars. Welcome back to our table. We made three delicious looking uh, selections today. Uh, comfort food is what we think about with uh, what we made. Um, the first thing was my uh, the soup that I made for nice cold weather. And the ingredients um, are all that we separately uh, like, but putting it together, um, it was interesting. Uh, it's uh, sweet potato soup, but it started out with uh, sauteing onions, uh, red pepper, you could use a green pepper or whatever, or they got orange peppers now and yellow peppers. But this was a red pepper and I added some celery because I wanted to get uh, uh, get rid of what I had. Uh, that was sauteed down, and then I added some interesting spices, some ginger and allspice. <coughs> and uh, after that cooked a little bit, it was time to add the, the liquid, which was four cups of either vegetable or low-sodium uh, chicken broth, uh, along with two large sweet potatoes that I had peeled and quartered or diced uh, and one can, 14 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes. And that was cooked, uh, simmered until the sweet potatoes were tender. Uh, and then to finish it off, um, I added uh, some um, baby spinach. You can see the green there. And uh, if you like edamame, you could have put in um, a 16 ounce package of frozen edamame. So that had to cook down a little bit. Now, to put, add some protein to this, I took out a cup of the broth and I whisked in a half a cup of peanut butter and added it back and that's why it looks a little brownish. Um, so, in a salt and pepper to taste, uh, so along with the interesting soup, I made some uh, maple muffins, which were easy to put together. If you like maple syrup, which a lot of people in this area do, because we uh, produce a good amount of it in different um, farms. And that was just uh, flour and uh, brown sugar or white sugar, some baking powder, salt, and in one bowl and the other bowl was melted butter and some milk, maple syrup and egg and vanilla extract all put together, mixed up and then um, what is on top is the streusel mix which is f again brown sugar or white sugar, flour, margarine, butter, um, walnuts and uh, cinnamon and then you know you sprinkle it on top and then they are baked in the oven. And then we can go to dessert with Gordy. Well, today I made gingerbread, bar, not uh, gingerbread bars with cream cheese frosting. 
And what's in my bars are, I um, have butter and brown sugar and molasses I mixed up with two eggs, a, teaspoon, a tablespoon of vanilla, two cups of flour, uh, ginger and baking powder, soda and salt. Mixed it all together and made a bar and put it into a nine by 13 pan. And I put it in, when I took it out of the oven, I put it in the um, refrigerator to cool it down so I could frost it for the show. And for the frosting is, I have one eight ounce package of cream cheese, a fourth of a cup of butter, three cups of confectionery sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and I mixed it all together to make the frosting. And then I spread it on top. And as you can see here, there's a little strip that has no frosting on it. That is made for one of our our, our dear members. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know what we want to call him, but he's a he's a good friend, <laughs> and he can't eat um, he doesn't eat um, sweet. Uh, uh, he's uh, gluten, dairy gluten free. Yeah, no, he's lactose. He's lactose intolerant. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> so that strip is his, <laughs> and so. If anybody would like any of these recipes, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Dalton Community Cable, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Mass, 01226. And that is all from our kitchen. Have a very good day.